bread while we're here. Also, have you tried puppy chow when you were younger? Yes, Look of course. Why can't I have this puppy chow? It's like oh. the best thing ever. Oh my gosh, we'll wait. We'll try it. Uh, we need that in the yeah, car. Yeah, it's so good. Yum. I got this for my lunch, and this time I did not make the mistake of having the green wrapped one. It's like an actual tortilla. I was gonna ask Caitlin for her YouTubing tips because I feel like you have really good angles. It's always the Mine. phone under the camera. Always. Okay, because my angles are really bad. <laughs> Okay, so just so you guys can understand, so it goes from that where no. it's like it's like down. It's so you like unflattering. Put it up a little. Okay, well I'm gonna start doing that every time because whenever I set my phone here, if I have like a friend, yeah, I'm like, this is the worst angle. Like yeah. it's just so it just doesn't look good. Recently, like I've been thinking about that a lot when I'm filming in my house or wherever. I'm just like, this is not a good angle. Like it's I'm really very hard. big on lighting and angles. I know no one cares that much, but for me, like my eyes are like, I'm unhappy. If I yes. look back at the footage and it's like a really bad angle, I'm like, but I think that you have really that? good angles. Like I've literally really? thought that while watching your videos. Oh my gosh, well, thank you. Anyway, we took literally one sip of caffeine and we're like bouncing off the walls. <laughs> we were, so. Yeah. It's gonna be a great day. We're also, mm. so we're here, we're in LA, we're going to a rare beauty event and it's like a little baking class. You know so. what I was thinking? Did you see the rare beauty event in New York? When Selena like had everybody do a TikTok yeah. with people? <laughs> no. <laughs> that would be planned for Selena. Yeah. <laughs> You think I'll she'll have to be sit there? that one out. I don't know. I don't want to like think that she is. I feel like she won't be. Maybe. Are you a fan? Like, yeah, did I you love grow Selena. Up? Yeah. Yeah. Wizards of Waverly Place. What's the new one that she's on that I literally watch every season of? Murders in the Building. I've Only Murders in the that. Building. Have you seen it? No, I've never heard of it. Oh, that. you need to watch it. It's we so never good. watch the same shows. <laughs> I know. All like, I know. She didn't even I'm know sure. that you came out this week. What the heck? There's a million of them. <laughs> yeah. No, so, and you know what? They need to stop because this is what, what, like, um, what's it called? Like, paranoia. No, no. <laughs> we were just saying, we always try to finish each other's sentences, it's never right. <laughs> when series do this, when they like go on too long, Prolong. they ruin it. Yeah, yeah. It's they, like they make like five seasons, like, hey, we're done. Yeah. Like, three was enough. Yeah. But I mean, I'll still watch it. <laughs> yeah. Grey's Anatomy, mm. they have like 20,000. No, I will watch that though, but you really need to start watching Love Island. I'm so serious, I'm so serious. I told Hunter about it, we're gonna. You need to, you'll love it. Caitlin's watching Bachelor. She's not watching <laughs> old ones, Island. Like, yeah, yeah. really old ones. Well, that's the way to do it. Because the new ones, I feel like, are just They're boring. boring. My thing is I want to watch, like, multiple in a row. I can't wait. Week you want to binge. Week. I yeah. understand that. That's how I am with Love Island. There's, like, a way you can, like, go about it to where it's, like, you're in the UK watching yeah. it. Because yeah. otherwise it's, like, delayed. So, we've just you're figured like, that I out it's illegal. I literally <laughs> hacked the system so that I can watch it. Yes. Yeah. We're going to go to this event. Stay tuned. <laughs> I think that we should just do all of it to yeah. yeah. like, be yeah. all like lemon. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So we're going this yeah. uh, It's really not aesthetic in the beginning, but then it gets there. Yeah. Yeah. It gets there in the end. Oh, oh yeah. girls. That's it. Montage <laughs> clip. <laughs> Here's my outfit in the mirror, by the way. I couldn't let this outfit go to waste without showing you the details. I just got home, it was super fun. So I have this top on from Naked, and then this bra underneath is from Free People. It was like a Galentine's theme, so I wanted to kinda, you know, have a fun little Valentine's-y outfit on. And then these uh, earrings are vintage. My friend Tracy got them for my birthday, if you guys remember that. This is the best part, the pants. I got these pants off of Essence, and they were on sale, and they're like, I don't know what this is called. Is that called boot cut or I don't know. They're like flared. And then I'm wearing my metallic cowboy boots. So this is the fit today. I thought it was so cute and so fun. We came home right after the event. So we like left at a really good time for traffic. Usually when I'm in LA, I just try and stay the whole day. But there are like certain times you have to leave to just not be in traffic forever. So we left at a really good time. I'm home. It's like the sun's still out. I'm going to have dinner. I'm going to get unready. Yeah, it was a great day. Reading the whole thing. I'm doing the pop again today. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not redoing it. I thought I was recording, I was talking for a full two minutes and Leif made a really funny joke. It's not really funny. It was kind of funny. He was like, all right. But it was just on the spot. So yeah. camera's at a different angle than we Don't normally have. Don't try and re-say it. It's not funny we normally anymore. have it. And she said, better angle. And I said, better angle, better pizza, <laughs> Papa John's. It's not funny anymore. It's not funny in the first place. <laughs> it was funny in the moment. <laughs> But it's lost, it's lost its humor now. And um, we said, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Sweet Valentine. And then, then I said, we're reenacting everything we did. And then I said, that's weird. You actually didn't ask me to be your Valentine today. I don't have to. It's a given. I wouldn't ask anyone else to be my Valentine. There it is. And that's about where we ended. So now we're back. But we're at a little Valentine's Day brunch. You said this place just opened? Like 45 minutes ago. We went here in the last vlog for lunch, but we've never been for brunch or I've never got brunch food. So we're gonna go eat a good meal. Today is like a big, a big day because it's Valentine's Day. Our podcast episode with Skinny Confidential went up. So our episode on their podcast went up yesterday, the day before. Anyway, so both of the episodes are up now. If you guys wanna go listen to our swap with Michael and Lauren, it's so, so good. You guys have to go listen. There's such good like podcast advice in there. We did relationship advice with them. They're just a hoot. Go listen to that episode. It's really good. We've been listening to it in the car. But anyway, we're gonna go get some food. And I don't really know. We don't I don't have that many plans today actually it's gonna be a chill day there's a suns game on later nice and what time is the game at do you know i guess at like six or seven okay so that's our nighttime activity we actually have some work stuff to do so this is our valentine's day moment right now at brunch egg and steak this french toast looks incredible we came for a beach walk but it's very cold and windy it's actually not that cold it's, it's more windy, windy. let to see my uh, valentine's sleigh You guys see that? The part socks today. Did somebody say slay. Valentine's dinner check. We got Mama D's to go. Got my favorite pasta, the broccoli and pesto pasta with the creamy pesto. So good. We had to shoot some stuff, so we've been working, and now the sun's game is on, so we're gonna eat this. They've got a pizza. And we're gonna watch the game and then probably watch Love Island. Yeah. The perfect Valentine's vibe. I just showered and did my skincare. And now I'm trying this magnesium stuff from Moon Juice. I've heard a lot lately about magnesium and I take a Symbiotica magnesium like supplement. It's like a pouch supplement thing. So I do take that sometimes because I've heard that like so many people in the US are like deficient in magnesium. But a lot of people drink this before bed because it's supposed to help you like sleep amazing. So it says one teaspoon in some water. It doesn't say how much water. It's so cute. And we're gonna try it tonight. I feel like I've tried this. Like this product looks so familiar to me and I'm like, have I had this before? I, I've definitely had like moon juice stuff. When I lived in LA, I loved, what is it? Like, it's like a strawberry silver smoothie. Oh my gosh, now that I'm thinking of that, I like need to taste that again soon because it's such a unique flavor. But I really, I just like moon juice. Anyway, this is their magnesium product and I've heard good things. Definitely very easy to drink. It's not like overly sweet, but it's like not gross. I wonder if I should have done less water, I don't know. We'll see if that helps me sleep tonight. We're gonna watch Love Island and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, good morning guys. I just got done having breakfast slash brunch with my TikTok friend, Bria. You guys probably have seen her or maybe follow her. She is a literal angel, she's so cute. And she's in California for like a month or two. And so while she was here, we were like, we have to meet, we have to hang out. So we just went to Active Culture, we got some food. I introduced her to the Wholesome Bowl and the Date Shake. It was so fun, we like talked for an hour and a half, almost two hours. We just like got along so well and it was so fun. So that was a really good start to my day. Also, I feel like I slept really well last night. I don't know if it's placebo or what, but like I was thinking about it this morning and I was like, I had a really good night's sleep and was it the magnesium? I don't know, but I think it, it could have been. I am leaving for Santa Barbara tomorrow morning or maybe tomorrow afternoon. I'm actually not sure what time we're leaving, but I'm going for Danny's 30th birthday. We're having a little girls weekend and it's gonna be so, so fun. We have like a whole little itinerary. We're doing like a cute little dinner and I need a dress for it. I'm gonna look in my closet to see if there's something I can use, but you guys know I'm not really a dress person. Like I'm in my dress era as of two weeks ago. I've worn two dresses 
one for my birthday and one for a Galentine's event. And now it's this dinner where we need to wear a dress. And that's just something I don't like have a lot of in my closet. So I'm gonna look because I have one in mind that could be cute that I wore. It's actually the dress I wore in our podcast cover, like art photo thing. It's like pink and it has feathers. So that could be the move, but I need to go try it on and see. But I might go to the mall if I need to find something. Cause I actually ordered, I ordered a dress to wear from Newly. It just didn't come in time. So I don't think it's gonna get delivered today. I like looked in it. I, usually it's so fast. I don't think it's gonna come. So we'll see. I need to go home right now and kind of plan the, the rest of my day. Also Leif's mom gets into town tonight. She is gonna hang out with Leif and with Keaton while I'm out of town. So she's coming for the weekend. So that'll be fun. I'll see her today and also the day that I get home. She'll be there for like another day. So I'll still get to hang out with her, but got lots going on. So my newly actually did get delivered. Wait, I need to do the phone trick. I just got home and my newly was here. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. Also, I'm going to take this off. I'm wearing the comfiest set. It's from Daily Drills. Do you guys know Daily Drills? They're a really cute brand by these two really cute girls, but it's like a sweat set and they just sent it to me and I am in love with it. I've worn it like literally every day since I've gotten it. It's so comfy. I am gonna show you what I got from Newly. I got two different dress options. This isn't sleeveless, is it? I'm like, I would never pick a sleeveless. Okay, it's like this dress. That's so short. Uh, stay tuned. That looks really insanely short. I was thinking I could wear this like cardigan over it if I get cold. Girly, cute, feminine. And then I also got this dress, which the whole kind of like theme of this trip is very like cottagey, girly vibes. And we're staying at a really cute like house. So I also got this dress, which is like an off the shoulder, it's like longer. It has strawberries on it, it's super cute. I'm gonna try both of those on and see what the vibe is. And also maybe I'll try on that like pink feather dress I was talking about. And then I got this pink sweater, it's a free people sweater. Stay tuned. And then I got two, oh, three? I forgot. I got three different jackets. This puffer, I just thought was so cute and kind of gives me that like cottagey feeling, but it's super warm. I think it's gonna be pretty cold while I'm there. And then I got this jacket just for fun, just cause I think it's cute. Ooh. <gasps> this is something I could see like with Newly, you can like keep stuff that you like. And I could see this being like one of those pieces that I just keep because it's like so comfy and cute. Cutest color ever. And then lastly, I got this, which is another jacket. Like, yeah, that's the moment. She is the moment. Ooh, this is actually warm. So cute. Learning to juggle. Okay, show me. So, I don't know what's easier, but maybe this. It would be, you throw it up to the middle of your two hands. And then as this one's coming down, you throw this one up to the middle. And catch. Oh, it's hard. So don't, don't like have your hands down here. Like keep them kind of like right here. And then you're kind of like keeping your focus like right in the middle. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> so while this one's in the air, I'm already throwing that one up. That's scary. But don't picture your hands like this. Picture your hands right here. Nice. My hands are like more than this. So, oh, I, I think the first step might be have two in one hand like this. And then you throw this one up and you're gonna want it like up here. And as it's coming down, this one rolls here and you throw this one up and catch this no. one in the same hand. That is not. That's the first step of juggling? Absolutely not. I would never be able to do that. He's just trying to show off for the vlog. Because then what you're doing is that same thing, but switching hands. Let's see it, so master. Let's see throwing, it, juggling master. You're throwing this one up and catching it here, but before you catch it, you're throwing this one up and you're doing that just... I can never do this. Rotating with both hands. Alright, let me try it with just two. Because it's this. Dude, that looks so hard. Once you get that though, then this is easy. Oh, I don't know when to throw the other one up. Boom, boom. Whoa. Oh. Throw them both up at the same time though, right? Like boom, boom, all right after each other? I kind of think of it as, as this one's coming down, I'm kind of meeting it. 
That's that's harder for me. But look, this is what you're doing. You're going like this. Mm. You want to be doing this. I thought I was throwing this again. No, you're like trying to throw it. To your <laughs> Wait, other really? Which I fully think I'm throwing Essentially, that ball. is what you're doing, but you want to throw it. Jeez. <laughs> See, you just switched. No, I, I didn't actually do anything. You switched. <laughs> you went like this. Jason, My brain. You went like this. When you're catching, your eyes are off in the distance. You can look at them. <laughs> and don't bounce like this. <laughs> oh, that's so hard. All right, juggling lesson over. We'll try again another time. Oh. All right, well, now I'm going to eat this orange. By the way, it's still like fully the same day. I just changed my outfit because I was trying to figure out outfits to wear to Santa Barbara. And I was... Hey, can I put those down there? You can put a few of them down there. This orange is so um, squishy. Really? Yeah, and it's because it's been dropped a trillion times. <gasps> Ew, I don't want to eat that. Would you rather have a good orange or know how to juggle? I'd rather have a good orange. No, I have neither. I'm a bad orange and I still don't know how to juggle. On the other property I saw, uh, we can do oranges. Did somebody yeah. say? Oh, Rachel, you. If I were a table, here's. Oh, we also need this. Oh, yeah. a whip turned off. Anyway. Oh yes. I like measuring stuff. Literally, the other direction. So cute. It is finicky. This is separate. No, here's the fork. I need the fork. Okay, baby. Work, girl. Red leather jacket slay. Do you like it? How much is it? <laughs> In her cowgirl era. Do you know how much it is? No, I'm afraid to look. This is so cute. Everybody want to be in this TikTok where you you have to mouth and whatever? Red. Okay, you sure? I want everybody to be in it. Play time. <laughs> That's cute. It's killing me. I'm gonna get a video. It's killing me. Wait, hold on. I'm not gonna do that again. I just really want, like, you know, like, this is like, Thank you, Allie. Yeah, thank you, Allie. Allie. I feel like mm -hmm. the Nokia yeah. really did so much stuff. Mm -hmm. did, you, did you say you feel like you did everything? Really? Mm -hmm. No, I feel like I'm probably over. Mm -hmm. I have your friend. Mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. It makes me want to like go to the shop for jewelry. Like, you. you really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. you said, Why would I ever like spend money on these? I like probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, honestly, that was a whole field today. I don't know. I think it's interesting. 
other people. I feel like weird about this. I'm really acting like, it's so fun to have a child in front of me. Yeah. Just like, wow, what do you think? Yeah. I think it's a blast. It's not often you can do that. Mm -hmm. no. And I literally always want to be this way. Like, uh -huh. like girlish. Well, I'm just like, like Having young. Fun. Yeah, like yeah. There's, no, there's no age limit to like mm -hmm. doing these things. Like, that's so, so cute. cute. I am back home. We had the absolute best weekend. This whole time in this vlog, I was saying we were going to Santa Barbara. We were actually going to Solvang. I don't know if I've ever vlogged being in Solvang before, but it's like a really cute little Danish town. So I've been there with my family because you guys know my dad lived in Denmark. He speaks fluent Danish. So that's like a special little place to my family. So I have been and it's so, so fun and just like such a charming, quaint little place. So we stayed at this Airbnb. It was beautiful and so cozy and i'm glad i got to like vlog some of those little clips because it was just like such a wholesome weekend we are going to nashville and chicago next week like end of next week for our tour um so i feel like it's just like boom 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 lots of things are happening it's so so rainy and like i almost said sunny that's not what I meant. It's so rainy and gloomy here. Ever since I've gotten back, it's just been like pouring rain. But I redid, or not redid, I touched up my red. I don't know if you guys can see it. I just like threw my hair up in a messy pony today. But it's um, so fresh and red, which I'm so happy about for the shows. And I wanted to show you guys what I found at an antique store in Solvang. You guys know I haven't been wearing my wedding ring um, for the past little while just because it's super super small like i need to get it resized if i want to keep it or keep wearing it um but i've like gained probably 20 pounds since i got married so it is like skin tight on me and like honestly uncomfortable to wear like i'll have a huge indentation if i wear it and it's just super small it's also silver which i don't wear like any silver jewelry really and the top of the diamond is like sliced off because I wore it in the ocean because I'm stupid so there's like a lot of things I could definitely still wear it but also my friends and I have been talking about like normalize getting like upgrading your ring or getting a new ring if you want one years down the line into marriage because I got married when I was 21 uh, Leif and I didn't have any money and so we've kind of always been like oh I'll probably upgrade my ring at some point to be you know more of like my vision that being said I'm like not in a, I have not been in a hurry to do that but I just really haven't been wearing my ring lately Anyway, all that to be said, I, I have not been looking for one, but I went to this antique store and they had the most beautiful jewelry and they had a lot of like engagement and like wedding style jewelry, but it was all vintage, like antique actually, because it's over a hundred years old. And I saw this ring in the box and I was like, oh my gosh, that looks a lot like my great grandma's ring. And it looked so similar to it, but I felt like it was more my style. And I was like, that is like the best case scenario. Like it reminds me of my great grandma's ring. It, but it's like a little bit different and it fits my vibe better. And I was like, can I see that ring? And then I tried it on and I was just like, immediately yes. So this ring was actually like not, it was like essentially the same price as my wedding ring that I got when I was like that Leif bought for me. So it it's not much of like an upgrade as far as like, it wasn't super expensive. I'm wearing it on my middle finger right now. And here it is. Let me show it to you guys. 
it's this vintage beautiful gold it's like it's real gold and a real diamond it's like kind of faded i almost thought it was like rose gold because of like the the color and the shade of the gold but it's so pretty it's like a thicker band and i am just in love with it so i've been wearing it on my middle finger just because it fits on this finger it's still a little bit big honestly but i need to get it resized if i want to wear it as my actual um wedding ring so what i've been trying to decide is if i want it as my actual like wedding ring or if i just want to wear it like as kind of um like an anniversary just like beautiful piece of jewelry that like I passed down. I might like if I do decide I want it as the wedding ring, I will get it resized and I might even add like another band, like do like a band of diamonds underneath it or something like that. Um but yeah it just feels like so me. I just love it so so much and I was kind of like ugh because I was not with Leif when I found it. Um and I actually like I didn't buy it immediately. I was like let me think on it for like two hours and I'll come back if I want it and the entire time I was like I have to have it. Like it just was calling my name and it's like so special to me also because I found it in Solvang which is like special to my family. I don't know it just all felt like it was clicking. So I texted Leif and he was like I love it. It's so cool like if you want it you should get it. So I got it and now I'm just deciding if I want it as like yeah the anniversary ring because our anniversary is in a month and it will be our seven years seven year anniversary which is crazy so i'm trying to figure out if i just like want it as a special ring for that or if it's like gonna be the wedding ring i could honestly see it either way like it is so i'm just obsessed with it it also just made me fall in love with like vintage and antique shopping for jewelry specifically because i just feel like there are so many unique beautiful pieces and i've always like loved thrifting but I feel like lately I've had like even more of an appreciation for it because I'm just like this is one of a kind like I'm not gonna find this anywhere else and I appreciate things like that so anyway I'm very excited about that I had to show you guys anyway I feel like this is the most I think I was saying on the podcast this past week like this has been the most social month of my life I feel like it has just been constant like activities people coming to visit like just a lot of things with people going on not even work just like friends family in town whatever so um yesterday actually I got home and then Leif and I did a weight workout yesterday morning and we were so tired after it like wiped us out we went to bed that night like not even that late and I was like I'm not gonna set an alarm for the next day because I was just like feeling really tired and I didn't have anything in like this morning to do so I was like, I'm just not going to set an alarm. And Leif's like, okay. I woke up. I was still tired, by the way. I woke up and I was like, what time is it? I thought he was going to say 7 or something because he was up. He's like, it's 10.15. I was like, you're joking. Like, I, don't get me wrong. I'm not a morning person. Like, I could sleep in easily till like 9 probably. But 10.15 and I was still like tired. I was like, wow. I was like really exhausted, I guess. So... Anyway, I'm glad that we I got that really good night's sleep last night and it'll give me some energy hopefully for this coming week. But anyway, that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was a really special fun one for me. So I hope you guys loved it. And I'm so excited to be going to Nashville, Chicago. I'm getting my outfits together right now. I'll update you guys on everything in my next vlog. But I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for your support. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.